Hello, New Tech students and families. Principal Kubik here. Students, we miss you very much and we want to bring you back to campus, but we got to do it safely. So I want to take a few minutes and share our plan for a gradual reopening that includes a big choice that you'll have to make about whether you want to come back for in-person learning or stay remote. So here's our gradual reopening plan. And I want all of you to know that from the beginning of this whole COVID and remote learning mess, the priority has always been on the safety and wellness of our students, staff, and families, and anybody who comes in the building, while also maintaining the continuity of education to make sure that our students have every opportunity and be, can be empowered to do whatever they wanna do after high school. This is a continuation of that. This slide shows what it all looks like. So starting semester two, which is beginning on January 21st through February 12th, we'll continue with a modified remote learning plan that will feel much the same as it did last semester, semester one. And I'll tell you the details in just a minute. On February 16th, we'll transition to a hybrid model where those students who want to do in-person learning here on campus can do that. And those who want to stay remote can stay remote. Again, I'll tell you the details in a minute. At some point this semester, we hope to return to in-person learning. We just don't know when. It'll all depend on what's going on with the virus and the vaccine. But this is kind of the overall plan. So from the start of the semester, which is January 21st through February 12th, as I mentioned, it'll be pretty much the same as it was in semester one. We have periods one, three, six, and seven on Mondays and Wednesdays, periods two, four, eight, and advisory or intervention and support on Thursdays, office hours, 105 to 224, always virtual from uh, 105 to 224, Monday through Thursday, and then freshman and sophomore teachers in person on campus, Mondays and Wednesdays, juniors and senior teachers in person for those office hours on Tuesdays and Thursdays. That hasn't changed at all. They still also will be the opportunity for students to come into the building for additional help and to use our Wi-Fi and our studious environment. The only thing that's different is on Fridays, and you can see my subtle red arrow there pointing to the schedule. Last semester, we had that somewhat confusing Friday alternating thing where some Fridays you had your Monday, Wednesday classes, other Fridays you had your Tuesday, Thursday classes. Starting semester two, on Fridays, you'll have all eight periods. They'll all be virtual and they'll all be 30 minutes long. Period five is our lunch hour, so that means everybody gets a break between 10.50 and 1120. So once again, this is January 21st, which is the first day of semester two through February 12th, it'll feel much the same as it did first semester with the exception of that one change on Friday. This is the big news and this is where you need to make a choice. Starting February 16th, students will have the option of coming back for in-person instruction or staying remote. If you want to come for in-person instruction and you're in the class right here at New Tech, just like the good old days before COVID, then you would come in the mornings from 7.30 until 10.30, Monday through Thursday. On Mondays and Wednesdays, you would have periods one, three, six, and seven in person. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, you would have periods two, four, eight, and advisory or intervention in person. After 10.30, you would go home, and then you would have asynchronous time, which is just get stuff done time, study, do your homework, that kind of thing. That's in person. If you choose to stay remote, you're not comfortable coming to campus, then you would have your asynchronous get stuff done time in the morning, and then you would come to new tech, whoops, sorry, you would zoom into your classes starting at 1125, and you would zoom from 1125 until 220 each day. Again, you would have certain classes on Mondays and Wednesdays and certain classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I do want to point out there's not a typo on this slide. It does say period 6713 in that order for the remote students on Mondays and Wednesdays. We had to change the order of the periods to accommodate some of our programs. But just know, even if you are in tech campus or if you're a dual credit student, you can still choose to do your new tech classes in person or remote. You can make this choice just like everybody else. So that's Monday through Thursday. Everybody, whether you choose to be remote or in person, you'll still follow the same remote schedule on Fridays. You'll have all eight periods for half an hour, including that fifth period break. So again, the big choice starting February 16th is do you want to be in person and attend your classes live here at New Tech more in the mornings, except for Friday, which is remote, or do you want to do all of your classes remote, which means you would have unstructured time in the morning and then you would come to a class via Zoom starting at 1125. We will provide bus transportation for those who qualify just like we would in a non-COVID year 
Um, we would have some options for grab and go lunches and we can give you all those details later. So what we need you to do is make a choice by January 22nd. We'll send you a Google survey, a form. You may have already received it. We'll send it via Remind so it'll come as a text or as an email. We'll put it on Skyward on our website and on our social media. We'll put it everywhere. So on that form, we need you to indicate if you want in-person or remote, and it should be pretty easy to follow the instructions on there. We do need to hear from you by January 22nd, and if we don't hear from you, then we will automatically put your student in the remote category. It's a commitment for the duration of the year, or for the duration of the hybrid at least. It is possible to change your plan, but you need to communicate that in, in advance and get my approval. We just need to know how many students to count on and how many to expect in person and remote. What we want to avoid is a student saying, yeah, I'll do in person and then waking up late and saying, well, I'll just do remote today. We can't have that. We need to know how many students to count on in the building and remote. So once again, once you get that, that survey, please be sure to respond by January 22nd so we know. On this slide, there's little information about the vaccine. There's a website and a phone number toward the bottom. We would encourage you to get information about the vaccine to see if it's right for members of your family. But please know that everybody who is on campus will be expected to maintain social distancing and wear a mask, practice good hygiene. We will be cleaning the building on a regular basis as well, just to keep everybody safe. So to review, you need to make the choice about what you want starting February 16th, whether you want to be in person or remote up until February 12th, which is the Friday before the 16th. We'll continue pretty much as we have for first semester with the exception of Fridays, you'll have all of your classes. If you have any questions at all, please make sure to contact me or um, Ms. Carter in the office. You can call us at 847-731-9800. You can email me at cubicc, that's K-U-B-I-C-C, -C, at ntzb.org. We'd be happy to answer any of your questions. So please let us know your choice on that survey by January 22nd. In the meantime, let us know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for your flexibility and your patience with accommodating all of these strange things and this, these unprecedented times. We miss you very much, students. We hope to see you in person or remotely, whichever you choose. Stay safe. See you soon.